classic other band at number 10, Howard and People. Billy Preston played uh, keyboards and Rosetta Hightower was among over 40 backing vocalists who took part in the recording. Well, it's the weekend, the 17th of April, 1971, and at number 9, we'll find out after this. BBC Radio 2, Tony Blackburn. Yes, Walking, their second hit, uh, it was a follow-up to the cover of the Led Zeppelin, A Whole Lot of Love, and CCS stands for Collective Consciousness Society. Don't know about you, a bit deep for me on a Saturday afternoon, so let's move on to it. Olivia Newton-John at number eight, and if not for you, written by Bob Dylan. If not for you. Olivia Newton-John at number eight, if not for you, interviewed her and introduced her so many times on uh, Top of the Pops many, many years ago. This is Big of the Pops, by the way. At uh, number seven, there goes my everything, Elvis Presley. And at six, beautiful song, Where Do I Begin? Love Story. This is the wonderful Andy Williams. Wonderful song, wonderful singer, and a great film as well. Andy Williams, where do I begin? The love story at number six. Pick of the pops, let's go to the top five, shall we? The sound of radio two. Just for fun, music, Tony Blackburn. Here it is, Britain's 1971 entry into the Eurovision Song Contest. It was placed fourth. Here's Clara Rogers and Jack in the Box at number five. Clint Rogers, Jack in the Box at number five. A lot better than some of the entries we've had lately, don't you agree? At number four. Woo, gracious me, who are you? I am the magnificent. I'm back with the shaker was so boss, most turning, storming, sound of soul. I am coming oh, oh, oh. Double Barrel will be number one in two weeks' time, for a couple of weeks in fact, and that's called Double Barrel there, number four. Hey, if you just joined us a little bit late, don't worry, because you can hear it all over again on the wonderful BBC iPlayer after we finish the programme. What do you say we go into the top three? This is Pink of the Fox, Tony Blackburn, where you're here. Number three, here's Lynn Anderson and Rose Garden. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a Rose Garden. Lynn Anderson, Rose Garden, uh, written by Joe South. This became, in actual fact, her only UK hit, winning a Grammy for Best Country and Western Vocal Performance, Rose Garden. And at number two, here's Ray Stevens with the story of Bridget the Midget. to give it his full title, Queen of the Blues, was held off the number one slot by the record you're about to hear. Here come the chart positions, the week ending the 17th of April, 1971. And up 12 to this week's number 20, not three times, Dawn. 
The mixtures go down three to this week's number 19 push bike song. Up 10 to 18, Remember Me, Diana Ross. Down six to 17, Deep Purple, Strange Kind of Woman. And up seven to this week's 16, I Will Drink the Wine. That comes from Frank Sinatra. Up five to 15, Funny Funny this week. Waldo de los Rios goes up 12, Mozart Symphony number 40 at number 14. Down 3 to 13, Baby Jump, Mungo Jerry. At 12, It's Impossible, Perry Como. Down 6 to 11, another day, Paul McCartney. They got the terrific 10, and at number 10, down two places for John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band, Power to the People. Down two to nine, Walking, CCS. Olivia Newton-John up four at number eight, if not for you, down one to seven. There goes my everything, Elvis Presley, Andy Williams up seven to six. Where do I begin? Love Story. The top five are on the way. Down one to this week's number five, Jack in the Box, Clodagh Rogers. David Ansel Collins up 13 to four, double barrel. Here come the terrific three. A non mover at number three, Rose Garden, Lynn Anderson. A non mover at two, Bridget the Midget from Ray Stevens. And it's a non mover, still at number one, T Rex and Hot Love. It's fifth of its six-week run at the top of the chart. That was T-Rex and a hot love. Well, I'll tell you something. Very shortly, we're going to go to the 13th of April, 1985. This is BBC Radio 2, online, on digital, and on 88 to 91 FM.